live from New York. It's Saturday night. So this is a recommendation from Jeff, and I'm definitely into the idea of the game. And you'll see what it's all about in a second. All right, so this is two for two in what I like to call spooky pair. Okay. So usually if you can do this with the mouse right off the bat, you know, may, may, maybe it's a little much. It's pretty good visually so far. Isn't it? Just adjusting volume a bit. Okay, so I'm not going to explain the premise of the game. I barely understand it myself, but it did sound good. Um, so you press left control, then you can hide. Oh, look at that. You can hide. Vinny has never played this? Nope. Never played this. It's a good survival items. These are the items you need to survive, including glow stick. Okay, so far... Horse is a horse, of course, of course. This is May 1977. We're out on a boat. Middle of the fucking ocean. There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. Maybe hide a little bit, but ultimately, where are you gonna go? You're gonna jump off, go swim to shore? Good fucking luck. You can run, and you can hide. And you can laugh, you can cry. Someone seems to have tried to escape using the life raft, but it looks like something went wrong. I should have a closer look. A ship. How the hell did I end up here? There must be some way out of this. I better look around some more. Oh, I see how this works. Dick pump? D minor is the saddest of all the chords. It's a very sad song, very beautiful song. What's it called? Lick my love pump. I just take for granted that not everybody has seen Spinal Tap. So if that came out of absolutely fucking nowhere, there's a good movie that you should watch called Spinal Tap. Yeah, I got one of these. So the dude said something about... Hold your shit. This game is super Metroid. I can't find out if it is really that good. Open door. It was something like that, he said. That's not how Zippos work. You know? Got my first Zippo and suddenly I'm a fucking expert. I don't even know what to do with it. <laughs> no idea what to do with it. It's just nice. I like it. Smashable. Oh. Some nice physics. Light candles. Yeah, I like candles. I have a couple candles. I have incense. Those are two things. So I guess when one flashlight runs out of battery, you can, uh, get the other one going. Someone in chat said something very interesting, saying that there's a glitch in this game. The longer you play it, the bigger you get. Like, the, the player just gets bigger. Like, the bigger Luke Skywalker theory? Oh, man. I told you, man. I told you. You make a convincing enough YouTube video, Someone's gonna be into it. There's a theory that says that there's two Luke Skywalkers in Star Wars. One that's slightly smaller, and one that's slightly bigger. Just look it up. <sighs> bigger Luke, commonly abbreviated to BL, is more uncommonly BGL, slightly larger manifestation of Luke Skywalker, said to appear in certain scenes in the original Star Wars trilogy. The appearance of Bigger Luke in a particular scene is generally not always judged relative to the height of Han Solo, and as such, Han is the primary go-to frame of reference. Now you'll see here you got Luke Prime and Bigger Luke. And there's a lot of um, things here. You know, do you, do you want to really get into this? Because you can get into this. I think it's serious. Nope. It's kind of hard to tell these days, isn't it? You fuck, why can you do that? Oy! I will explain 
that this game is a roguelike roguelite horror game. I don't know all the details, but every time you die and start it up, it's randomly generated. I don't know if there's different monsters or what. Fuse box is scattered about. If I find some fuses, I can power them. One of three monsters. One of three monsters. There you go. I thought the concept was interesting. And... I'm going to assume that the monsters have different... Strengths and strengths, strengths and weaknesses, and until you become bigger, the monster is to be feared. Guess I could pump the raft with this thing. Very interesting experience. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? I've seen things I don't know what to do with flares I, I just assume that maybe I could shoot it and get help off egg timer this could be useful even though the hand is a little Decrepit. Oh! Ah! Fucking hell. I should have shot the goddamn thing. I don't know. I mean, I'm still figuring... Vinny, you're terrible at this, as per usual. My dedicated fan base, ladies and gentlemen. Um... I've never played this before. Oh, you mean just in general? Alright, fair enough. It's a fair cop, but I blame society. I think something's gone seriously wrong. I haven't seen another pair in hours. They want to investigate the engine, but no one's come back. Uh, there's definitely a fire. I can smell them burning. I don't want to make any noise banging the door. I heard Fred yelling at them. He's just cut off. Last two nights on the Zero Four, I felt sure I was hearing a woman's voice out here. You heard anything starboard? Oh, I see. I see. Flashbacks to falling off of my horse. This thing, well, <clears throat> this thing looks actually functional. I'll need to find the keys, detach it from the deck, and refuel it. The refueling equipment must be stored somewhere nearby. Cut restraint cables, find fuel pump, unlock helicopter door. Uh, I, I think I like this game. Right, you can hide in lockers. <laughs> Do you want to fucking stop that? Not make too much noise. Oh, I have more space now to carry stuff. I mean, I can't use any of this to fix the helicopter. There's a hole in the engine that looks melted. I need to send the rest of the engineering down here. There are noises further down the shaft. I'll check for fire while we're waiting for the others. I realized I had my lights on. Good for a horror game. You gotta turn your lights off for a horror game. Is there different boat types as well? This looks different from previous boat. Maybe it's just different deck. Same boat, different section. Always the same boat, different layout per floor. Okay. Watch too many of that guy's videos, god damn it. Fucking shipping containers. I guess they were- they, were they storing the monster in here? It's like, melted through them. There's always some asshole that thinks it's a good idea to dig up a monster and transport it back to the United States or something. Nope. Oh, gotcha. Still no usable tools, for fuck's sake. Here, have a cup. Alright, well I got a fuse. Fuses are useful, I guess. Looks like a local phone system. Maybe if I restore power to the area, I can make use of it. I vaguely hear footsteps. Oh, 
I'm stuck. Really? Did I get big? Yeah, my character, I don't know, I got stuck, but also, I'm wondering if, uh... I've used some of my items to prevent that from happening. It's okay, that was a shitty run anyway, maybe we, we get a better one. The best part of it was that there was, um... I got, I got more room. I got a bigger pack, like in Fortnite. Wait, that's not even how Fortnite works. Like in... Um... Call of Duty Blackout. You think Fortnite's gonna win, like, a ton of, uh, Game of the Year awards? You know there's gonna be riots if it doesn't win Game of the Year. All the gamers are gonna rise up. But I wonder if, um... I wonder if they're gonna give it Game of the Year over, like, Red Dead 2 and stuff like that. Please go under there. Alright, this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be a good one. Alright. There's a good feeling about this one. Yep. Double glow stick. This is the run confirmed. These cabinets. If I throw a glass bottle at a monster's head, I wonder if that will stop them long enough. Monsters love funk music, by the way. This this is uh, a fact. <laughs> Why did I leave the music playing? God damn it. I can hear it from everywhere. Gasoline. I don't know if that's, uh... Used to fuel the thing or what. I don't know what I was expecting. Fire monster on fire. Maybe that'll work. Oh, God damn it. Gotta be something in here I could use. Free TVs. That I need. Someone just wrote, s someone who, who I've seen in chat for ages just wrote, shut up please. Like, I, I just picture them saying that in the most polite English accent possible. Shut up please. I am my own worst monster. I wasn't even... Like, I didn't... I don't know, I wasn't near the fire... After that. I wasn't that close to the fire. Like Rage Against the Machine once said, I'm good at imitating musicians. Alright, I'll, I'll shut up, please. <laughs> so, people are, are probably returning home drunk after a night out. And this is what they get. This is the entertainment they're getting. It's supposed to be a spooky horror game. I'm setting myself on fire and, and saying bizarre things. Hello, John Twitch. Yes, this is, um... Raymond. I want a refund. Uh, I'm sorry you haven't enjoyed the Twitch service. You want a refund for what? I want a refund for, uh, Vine Sauce, please. What, what do you- what do you mean? You want a refund for Vine Sauce? Like, are you subscribed? What do you... You subscribe to the channel? Are you, um... You donate? No? 
Okay, well, do, um, what do you want a refund for? I want my time refunded. Well, we can't do that. That's physically impossible. All right. Guess I'll watch Hitbox.tv then. Ah, it's so nice here at Hitbox.tv. Some real peace and quiet. Finally. No more duck noises. No more streamers. No more Hitbox, actually. I don't think it's even running anymore. I think it's dead. Fighting the urge. Fighting the urge to say it. I don't want to say it anymore. I'm, I want to stop. Stop. Someone just wrote, Oh God, Big Papa is going to become the next Harrison Ford, isn't it? Again, this is language that only people that watch Vine Sauce enough would understand. <laughs> that is a farcical sentence in any other context. Over when you call me Harrison Ford. They're both dead now. Both of these things are now dead. What the fuck was that? I need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. That was a genuinely scary moment for me. They don't happen too often. Or maybe they do, and I just don't like to admit it. Depends on the game. Depends on the game. It depends on, on how, it's, how it's done. It depends on how the jump scares, if there are jump scares, hopefully not, are doled out. It's a lot of factors. But that moment... Yeah, that got me. Vinny, how would you cut a cable with a welding torch? Fire. This one's a real fucking asshole, isn't it? Someone just said this game's engine is oddly neighbor-like. Again, these are sentences that if you view from an outside perspective would not make- would not make a lick of sense. But I get what you're saying and you're kinda right. Neighbor-like. That's- can we just call that- can we just have a genre called neighbor-like? Neighborly. This is the smartest monster. If you leave doors and, like, drawers open, it will follow you. Oh fuck, I don't want that to happen. Oh. Oh. I'll shoot it with a flare gun if it gets close to me. Everything's fine. How are you? Everything's fine here. You know, there's a new neighbor game. I have a key to it. Well, they, they told me if you want a key, you could request it. I'm just like, nah. It's like Halloween Neighbor. It's a multiplayer Halloween Neighbor game. I was just like, nah. I don't know why you say hello. Oh, I say goodbye! You say yes! I say no! You say stu- oh, fuck.